Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new tutorial on how to start out designing in Sketch. Today we will finally start and work inside Sketch because in the last videos we only looked at the interface of Sketch and I think it was really necessary to know how it looks like, to know how all the different parts work. Uh, and if you haven't checked that out yet, you can just simply go on the different videos. They are the last videos on this channel, so you can check them out and see how the interface looks. But of course, it's also necessary to start out in Sketch. And I already told you that we have a layer list on the left side. And in this layer list, we will have artboards. Now artboards, which uh, you can see right here, are like the boundaries or the screens that we will design. And uh, you can just create any sort of artboard by just uh, hitting A. Or you can also go insert artboard. Now then you see you have this little plus right here, which means you can just uh, create whatever size you want. But you can also go and hit A. And then select one of those uh, pre-created uh, resolutions or sizes um, right here on the right side. So you can even um, uh, change the direction, the, the orientation. So you can also not just design Apple UI de designs, but you can also design for Android, you can design for uh, web designs, and you can choose paper sizes and custom. You can also uh, change the orientation, as I said, and it's easy as that. You can simply check out and select one of those uh, presets right here. So simply let's maybe go for the 10s max and boom, there you go. You can also of course now change the orientation if you want to have a landscape mode. But you can also just, if you click the wrong uh, resolution maybe, you can simply go, maybe you wanted to design for Android. Uh, click Android pixel and it's changing to the correct uh, to the correct resolution. Then, for example, you change your uh, resolution to a certain uh, pixel width and height like this, and uh, you now see that it is custom. But uh, it's not just custom like from the list right here. But you can simply also create a custom size because maybe you have a, I don't know, you're working for a new kind of phone and the resolution isn't available yet. Then you can simply uh, name your custom preset, give it a certain size. It usually takes the size that you just uh, use for it, but you can also change it here. And then you can save it up as a custom uh, preset. And it's in this list. So it's super easy, it, it's fun. and. Uh, these are basically the screens that we are working for. You now see that we have them in our panel, in our layer list uh, on the left side, and we can simply select them to switch between them. So, for example, if I want to add a certain thing, like a status bar for um, for a iOS, iOS UI design, I can simply go and uh, grab one of those. Of course, the resolution isn't correct right now. That's why we should go and change it back to Apple 10s Max. And now if we double click it, we simply get our bar right here. And of course, now it's not really uh, correct for this resolution, but we can simply grab it and change the size of it. And it's super easy to work within those artboards. But I want to give you a couple of more ideas and settings that you should know. Because if we if we select the artboard, we now see that we can change the position of it. So for example, if we want to start at the beginning of our document, we can see that um, there is a zero, zero. So if I uh, enable our rulers, we see that there is a certain point um, and I, I always love to start at this point. I, I, I don't know, maybe you don't really know about that, but I love to start at zero, zero. And what you need to know as well about artboards is that, for example, when we pasted this one, it was like about, about this. So it's not 100% correct now, uh, but we can click fit and then our artboard is snapping to the layers inside of it. So of course now the um, the length of the document, the height is also 
are changing because we don't have elements at the bottom but if I just create a rectangle like right there you will see that the artboard um, dimensions will be like right there on this line and it will be on this line so if I reselect it and click fit it's doing this because this can be really helpful if you have uh, I don't know content that is maybe like overlapping a bit so you only see half of it but you want to see the whole content then you simply go and select your artboard click fit and it's showing all the content within your artboard so this is pretty amazing uh, then you can of course also change your um, width and height here as well the orientation and then you can set adjust content on resize which is pretty amazing and you have to select a uh, background color and include in export so if you want to export and save it as a uh, i don't know jpeg or pdf or whatever um, and you want to give it a certain background color then you really need to make sure that your uh, background is also included in the export because if you make it exportable you get a certain preview right here if i now uh, uncheck include and export you see that there is a transparency and you probably don't want this to happen maybe you want it to happen then of course leave it unchecked but uh, most of the time i set a certain background color for the artboard and then i can simply click include in export and export it right away now that we have a certain uh, design right here maybe let's change it up a bit we can simply uh, use this one as a like example button or whatever um, and maybe you're happy with the design maybe you think like okay that's perfect we have a status bar uh, we have a um, navigation bar and we have this button then just why not export it? Okay, that's fine. We also checked uh, include and export, so we have a background color. And uh, what you now, uh, what you are going to do is, you simply make it exportable if you haven't done that yet, and then you can select the presets for the export, which is the size. If you want to export it uh, for in a correct resolution, then you should probably choose at 2x or at 3x, depending on uh, the the artboard size or the device that you're working for you can easily uh, add a prefix or suffix and you can select the file format as well maybe you want to uh, change some other things then you can simply create like a, a slice layer which is basically the size of the artboard but in a slice so you're not really exporting the artboard itself but only a slice maybe you worked in Photoshop before that's the same feature basically and then you can add more to it for example add to X or you want to have another one at 3x and it's exporting uh, if you click the button right here it's exporting all those different screen resolutions um, in the file form